So some of the main things to know about Oracle Randomizer is all the cutscenes are pretty much taken out. So the start we can just immediately go and get items. We don't have to do the whole intro cutscene or anything. And uh, the item that you normally get from the intro cutscene is now placed in a um, chest right there. It's the boomerang. Impa's house is open from the start. Usually it ends up being a, a harp, but of course it is a harp this time, which is the vanilla harp. You're gonna see some like really interesting uh, routing options in this game, especially depending on what items you get early. For the most part, the start is usually the same. You usually get those first two items, then you're gonna head over to the Black Tower to get an item there. What you do after that really depends on what you have. Most often, I would say you would get a power bracelet here, but occasionally you'll get something completely different and it'll change your route a lot. Yo, what's up, B? Yep, there's our power bracelet, as expected. The reason why power bracelet is expected there is because it gives you access to Deku Forest and allows you to continue getting checks along this way. Deku Forest is usually the first place that you gain access to. So if, if you've been watching the speedruns throughout the week of Oracle of Ages, uh, you might start seeing some different, like, areas that aren't actually shown off in those speedruns. Okay, we got the shovel. Shovel means we're going to be heading back to the start of... For races, we have the tree warp turned on. Okay, that means we're getting our shop item. No, you, you, it's always going to be completable. Alright, we got sword. Interesting. So, Sword uh, allows us to go do the Meiku Tree now. And since... Oh, I do have... I do have a harp, so I didn't have to come up through this way. I could have gone around and used the portal by uh, Impa's house. But we're, we're already here, so might as well go this way. But yeah, some of the seeds, you might end up getting items that you think you can't com progress. Uh, but there are things that you can do to get progression. Uh, the main thing is you can get seeds. So, seed tree. Uh, once you have a way to knock seeds off of trees using either the sword or one of the punch rings, which are the fist ring and expert's ring, and you have like a seed satchel or seed shooter, you can start collecting seeds and then that can open up things. Uh, also rings. So when you get rings in this game, in the randomizer, uh, they automatically get, um, 
they automatically get appraised, and the ring pool is randomized as well, so you're not always going to see the same rings every single time you play. Uh, some of the rings that you can get can actually become logic logically required. So, like I said, the, the punch rings, the fist ring, expert's ring, and then... Uh, there, there's also the energy ring, which is the third one down on the tracker, the toss ring, and the peace ring. Those are the ones that can be logically required. So if you have boomerang, harp, and shovel, what checks would you have from there to progress? Uh, I don't think that would have been possible. Uh, I think you would have been locked out at that point. So, th the way that the randomizer fills the, the spots is it makes sure that you make sure that you can pro progress throughout the seed, that you're not going to get locked out. And we just got one of the most interesting items in the game, which is the Tune of Currents. So, Tune of Currents can pretty much break open this entire game and that's because now things that normally would require other items you can just go to the past and make your way to the present so like normally to get this chest over here uh, you would need ember seeds but because of the tune of currents we're able to just warp right there and get it Which way do I want to go? This is actually a bit of a conundrum. I kind of want to get this item and then go up to Ambi's Palace. Yeah, Ages, Ages is uh, a little bit better than Currents, but Currents also works really, really well. Yeah, we're, we're going to get the one in Fairy's Woods right now. Also, I can also use this to get into Dungeon uh, 2. Oop. That wasn't what I wanted to do. <laughs> I meant to open up the chest, but I wasn't close enough, I guess. So, you know how Dungeon 2 is locked behind that rock that you have to pull up and then it blows it up? Well, in Rando, that doesn't actually happen. But I'm not I'm not going to go into Dungeon 2 just yet, because uh, we really can't do much in there. But we're now we're going to head over to Ambi's Palace. Ambi's Palace is open from the start, and we can do some really interesting stuff with Currents. So like with the the randomizer, um, ooh, Pegasus is good. With the randomizer, everything that is normally blocked by getting prog progression throughout the game is um, opened up. And it's Dimitri, ooh. So the animal companion is randomized throughout. Uh, the animal companion that you get is randomized. So, and it's, whenever you get the flute, it's automatically identified. And yes, uh, all the all the uh, seed trees, they are, are randomized as well. So, the, you can get se seeds in any of the trees. Uh, the way it's set up is that it's guaranteed that you're going to be able to get one of each type of seed. However, the there are extra trees as well. 
and you can get uh, a second tree of two types of seeds. But yeah, having, having Dimitri as the animal companion for this seed is kind of a big deal because that locks us out of the item that is in this area. Uh, with any other uh, Dimitri, with any other animal comp companion, you can get the item without uh, having to have the flute for the animal companion. But Dimitri, in order to get the item here, we need to go up a waterfall, and that requires Dimitri. It hard requires Dimitri. So we may have to come back here at some point. Okay, we got early mystery seeds. That's uh, pretty good. Uh, the only thing is that we have to uh, get something to keep the mystery seeds in. reason I say mystery seeds are good is because there's two reasons. Uh, number one, the mystery seed reward that you get from... Uh, from Ambi early on in the game normally there's a there's a guard in Deku Forest that you can give the, the seeds to and he'll give you the reward but number two is that owl hints owls uh, they normally give you hints when you hit them with mystery seeds for the randomizer those hints are now randomizer specific and tell you locations of items it's not like super specific, it'll tell you... Okay, that is actually really good. So... Yeah, I'm gonna... Go back out here. And we're gonna go into dungeon 2. We'll go this way. So like, I'd, I can potentially get a hint that says... Zora Village has the Toke Eyeball, or something. And, or I can get something that says, uh, Deku Forest has rupees, or Deku Forest has a Gasha Seed. The hints are not guaranteed to be helpful. Uh, sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. You don't know which ones are going to be which. And... For the most part, you just want to uh, go in, get as many hints as you can, as soon as you can. But that also requires having a way to use the the hints, like a way to use seeds. So we're into Dungeon 2. Um, we don't have a shield, but we can use the shovel to kill these guys. Yes, I I'm reach I'm racing uh, Dragon C Zero. He's also on Twitch. He should be streaming as well. So this is our first dungeon that we normally have access to. Uh, it usually opens up really early because you don't have any uh, requirements, really. Other than having bombs or currents and then a way to kill stuff. But also, this is our first foray into randomized small keys in the dungeons. So, that first chest that I got is normally supposed to be a an item, but... And that was supposed to be a small key. Hmm. Now I'm like, what do I do? Let's go in here and see what we got. We're 
We're most likely going to get a a key in either. Yeah, we, we probably have to get a key actually. Either here or the other the other item, or both potentially. All right, that's the boss key, so that's required. Not a whole lot that I can do at this point, uh, other than going to get seeds. Alright, we are actually locked out of this dungeon. Because I don't have a key. We're gonna have to come back with, um... We're going to have to come back with uh, the feather in order to actually can progress in that dungeon. But right now, we're going to be trying to get some seeds. Alright, those are gale seeds. I have gale seeds. I can use gale seeds. So we can get there. And now we can head in here to get an item. We weren't able to get in here earlier because we didn't have a way to get across the gap. But now that we have the Gale Seeds, we got across, we can get this item. Which is just a Gasha Seed. Okay, it's nothing. But now, we also have the ability to go around and collect more seeds. So there's our Pegasus Seeds. Uh, what type of seed was, um... I don't remember what type of seed was, uh... In Ambies. Or, I mean, Symmetry City. Because that is probably the only progression we have right now, if that's Ember Seeds. Or no, that was Mystery Seeds. It was Mysteries. Yeah. So that is our progression, is to use the Mystery Seeds. <laughs> sucks. I was going to warp over there, but then I realized there was no way out <laughs> if I did that. I'm thinking of popping into Dungeon 2 to hit, get the first hint before I, uh, before I drop off these seeds. Because once you drop them off, you lose all of your seeds. Which kind of sucks. <sighs> and it's, it's one of the reasons why, like, Owl Hints is kind of annoying in ages. Level 7 has Lava Juice. Okay. Lava Juice is a trade item, so it's not terribly necessary, but it could potentially lead to something. Okay. We got Tune of Ages. We are already rocking and rolling. Let's go do <laughs> some fun stuff with the Tune of Ages. So Tune of Ages lets you go back and forth through time, regardless of where you're at. It also lets us to do a lot of dumb skips, too. So you're going to see some stuff. Number one, we're going to be going here. 
and we're going to be skipping all of Talus Peaks and getting the chest at the end. So, you know, normally how you go back and forth uh, and, you know, have to go move the seed and change the water and all that. No, no, you just use Tune of Ages at the end and you get to the, the flippers. We got the flippers, all right. Mm. I wanted to stay in the present. I wanted to stay in the present so I can Gale Seed over there. Then we're going to get the composer melody. Ooh, I like this. I like this a little bit. So we're going to get the composer melody. We can also refill on Mystery Seeds while we're up there. Oh no, it's not, it's not, uh, ready yet. I forgot, the, the trees... The respawn of trees is, like, kind of weird sometimes. Uh, I think you need to kill a certain number of enemies in order to actually respawn. So yeah, that that skip, that's not one of the dumb skips. There's uh, an actual dumb skip uh, that I could do. And it actually will get me mystery seeds back. Oh no, I can't do it because I don't have switch hook. I mean, I could do the skip. I just can't get the item that I'm thinking of getting. Alright, there's our feather. So that allows us to go back into Dungeon 2 and complete it. And speaking of Dungeon 2, that was the perfect save warp. So we can fully clear Dungeon 2 now because I have the feather, I have bombs, and I have a sword. Normally, when you play through this, you can clear it with just uh, feather and bombs and like a, sw a switch hook or something. But with randomized small keys, having the sword actually might matter because you have to use the sword on the the switch the minecart switch in the basement in order to get that small key area and that could potentially be something useful you're gonna try shovel dupe uh any tips you want to get to the the, the uh, text box that says and then here's yours Oh, uh, you, you won't softlock. Uh, you can't. You can't really softlock there. I don't think, unless you run out of bombs. But just save beforehand, and you, you won't. You won't have to worry. But uh, the basic idea is, go to the 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 text box that says, "Then here's yours," and then, um. You want to... You, the best way to do it is to actually... Um, that's a key. That's a key. I think I'm actually good on keys now. That means we might have item an item back here, so we gotta we gotta go through this. So the best way to go and go about doing it is uh, when you get to that text box that says "Then here's yours." You want to try and clear that text box. I usually use the D-pad to clear the text box, and then I think it's like five frames later. 
you want to pull out a bomb. Now what you could do is um, you can try and pause buffer it. So like when you clear the text box you, you pause buffer. Yeah, it, it should work. Uh, there's no reason why it wouldn't. The D-pad clears the last text box of a series of text boxes. Like, you can use any input to do that. So I'm still missing map, compass, and one item, I think. I have both keys. Oh, it, it should be two items, I think. Alright, that should be every key. For sure. You wanna, you wanna do it once. Uh, you wanna do it twice. Uh, you wanna do two shovels, then trade trade again to get a, a third shovel trade for the fur uh, and then get the item that you just traded for pick up one shovel trade it pick up another shovel tr uh, and then that'll that'll get you all three items so you want to have two shovels on the floor plus one in your inventory I'm pretty sure, yeah, we don't have to go and do color room. Yeah, we don't have to do color room because we've gotten every item and then... And then there's two, uh, two more checks there. I'm going to leave that up, I think. I didn't save scum anything. So I should be good. So this should be either a map or a compass. Yeah. So color room should also be... Should be the compass then. Because there's nothing else that I could have gotten. But yeah, now with all of this stuff, we can make our way over to to Rolling Ridge. But before I go over there, going to be going to Tingle, because I can get two items from Tingle real quick. Oh, that's the wrong area? Alright, we're not doing it this way then. Up here. Up here. I don't remember the exact spot to to go from there. Alright, there we go. Now we're going to Tingle.
Ooh, sea shooter. Okay. And 30 rupees. So if me and Dragon get the same item starting, can you predict where he will go? So that may be a different way than he did. Um, I mean, for the most part, we're going to be going similar routes. Just because of the way that the randomizer works. A lot of the, a lot of starting stuff is pretty straight. Like, it's pretty linear at the start. We're going to be able to start diverging our routes probably about now. Uh, probably once we go up to Rolling Ridge, that's when things are going to really change. Why did it go there? That was weird. I wasn't on that tile. I was over here. Oh no, we want bombs. There's a couple items over here that we're going to be grabbing. Uh, there's a secret bombable wall there. A lot of people forget about it. But it ended up being nothing. Alright, Mermaid Suit is a very interesting item because that really opens up the world. Like, I'm talking, we have access to pretty much everything right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna get the tree over here get the last item, and then I think we're going to start changing th some things up. Alright, I have... I keep forgetting I have Pegasus Seeds. I, I forgot I have Pegasus Seeds. <laughs> but I think what I'm going to do... Now that I have, uh, that, is I'm gonna go to Dungeon 3. Dungeon 3 is a good place to go. There's a lot you can do in there. And I have everything that I need in order to complete it. There's a lot of items in here. You know what's kind of weird is like, you can actually kind of change this route up a little bit. I should be able to... yeah. Oh no, I don't! It didn't give me mystery seeds. I was thinking that getting the seed shooter would actually give you seeds back, but I guess it doesn't. not a huge deal, but we're going to be missing out on a bunch of uh, hints. It's 
not not the best scenario, of course. Yeah, what's up, free? So switch hook is secretly like the best item in randomizer. You can do a lot of cool stuff with it. Got a couple trade items for Rolling Ridge. So potentially after this dungeon, we might head back up to Rolling Ridge. I'll probably clear out um, some stuff here first and then head over there. We know the exact location of every one of the trade items now. We know the last one is in Dungeon 7 because of that one hint that we got. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. was an awful fight. Ooh, there's mystery seeds there. That's actually interesting. The reason why that's interesting is because there, there's owls in here, and I can use those mystery seeds for those owls. And that was a much better fight. hundred times better. Rolling Ridge Base has a letter of introduction. Okay.
So we're gonna try and uh, save scum this key. We potentially might not need whatever's behind this key door. AKA the dungeon map. So we're able to just uh, hold on to that key, meaning that I don't need another key to beat this dungeon. These guys are being jerks. Alright, there's a key there. But we, we might be able to do some, uh, some good stuff here. Be able to kill Shadow Hag. And that's a Gash of Seed. So, what am I missing? I'm still missing items in here, that's for sure. This is a key, so I don't need to do that. Fight the mini boss, go down, get that chest. I should have should have gone the other way, but it's too late now. My routing through here is a little spotty because of the random small keys. I think at this point... I think at this point, the last, yeah, the last thing that I can do, that torch chest is just the map. So we don't have to do anything there. Or no, map, map was the, si this, uh, the thing there. Map was the, uh, whatchamacallit. Seed shooter chest. So we actually have to go down and we're gonna do something stupid. How many mystery seeds do I have? 
Yeah, the item can still be useless. Oh, I have 19, okay. Alright. We should be able to do it with 14 more. Cool. Yeah, it was just, it was just rupees. That's fine. Actually, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be getting a bunch of checks in the past here. And then I'll probably come back later for the underwater maze if I need to. There's Dimitri's flute, which opens up that one check way back uh, earlier. There's a lot of stuff that I can be doing right now. That was nothing. So a lot a lot of this routing is just figuring out what can I do when? And like what's the fastest way to go in between areas? Graveyard Key is actually a really good check to get there. Because that means that w that's another dungeon we can complete. Not only is there that another dungeon we can complete, that effectively puts um, King Zora into logic. Oh, wait, we can't get in there. We don't have Ember Seeds yet. We still don't have Ember Seeds. <laughs> we can't go in there yet. Alright, what kind of ring is this? Rock's ring. Not very good. You know what? I'm gonna get the get the maze right now. Since I'm over here. I do have mystery seeds. But they cannot burn tree the trees. The mystery seeds cannot uh, get us into the, the graveyard. Like they can they can light torches, but we can't actually burn the tree to get into the graveyard. have to bite the bullet and go back up to Rolling Ridge. That's going to be the best the best option at this point. We're going to go Ooh, we'll go Rolling Ridge uh, east this time. We can get we can get a decent number of stuff uh, things over there. Mm -hmm. 
So whenever I come into this cave, I always like to save. Just in case whatever item I get from using all these bombs ends up being nothing. So I can just keep those bombs. Mm, we might need the scent seedling. We might actually need it for ember seeds. I mean, there's a low percentage chance that we might need it, but it's still a chance. I don't want to I don't want to risk it at this point. All right, I should I really should be using switch hook here. I don't know why I'm not. We might not even need <laughs> to go and get the uh, the rupees from the old man. Yeah, randomized small keys makes this more... I don't know if it's harder, it's just more interesting, I would say. Because you're gonna be dipping into dungeons a little bit more. Because sometimes you're just, you're just gonna get locked out. Like what happened in Dungeon 2, where we just didn't get a key. So we had to just dip in there and come back when we had the feather. Uh, do I have the coronate? I do. What do you got for me? It's a ring. Could be a good ring, actually. And I have, I have plenty, plenty of Pegasus seeds at this point. This could also be the giant, the most baitiest bait of all bait. But we're about to find out. What ring are you gonna give me? Oh, hello! That was totally worth it. I'm putting that on right now. So, Gold Joy Ring doubles every drop that you get. So it's one of the, like, best rings in the game. Those are scents. Uh, that means we are running dangerously close to needing that scent seedling for for ember seeds. <laughs> I might have to go back down to uh, to the Crescent Island and just plant that and hope it's ember seeds. I should actually mark it off on my tracker. Mmm, power ring level 2 is also good. That is also really good too. Hello? We're getting all the good items right now. I mean, none of the items that are like 100% necessary, but like... These are items that could definitely be useful. 
Letter of Introduction is Rolling Ridge Base, isn't it? I think it's going to be one of the trades. I think it's going to be one of the trades at this point. Or dancing itself might be the, <laughs> the thing. Ooh, I might do dancing first, just in case. Once, once you get the letter of introduction, you can't actually do the original uh, Goron dancing in the past. You actually have to do it in the present. Blue Holy Ring. I got the the brother emblem. Yeah, it's it's good because I have all of the the trade items already. So we can just go and do the trades right away. So that's dancing one, because I don't have the letter of introduction, I'm able to do the past dancing as mm -hmm. dancing one. Mm -hmm. But once you get that letter of introduction, it separates it between the two errors. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is, that's pretty good. Fairy powder is also really good. That would have been really, really interest interesting. Like, I, I was hoping it would be, but I think it's going to be this guy right here. Oh no. I know where it is. I know where it is. It's the D6 underwater chest. We're going to we're going to this way. Yeah, D6 underwater chest. I can get the first check in D6 present while I'm here. mind. I know exactly where it is now. <laughs> I keep saying I know where it is, but obviously I didn't. It It's because uh Rolling Ridge base extends like to so many different areas. But it's got to be It's got to be the um the king the Goron elder at this point. Where am I going?
Oh yeah, I'm, I'm doing this. I am so doing this. Because if this allows me to get into Dungeon 1, this is the biggest thing. I need Amber Seeds. So whatever happens now, I'm going for the Seed Trees. So we're gonna get our seed tree here, and it is embers, okay. That is really good. Because that allows us to get to dungeon one, and a lot of things around dungeon one. I can also do, I can also do, uh, Dungeon 7. Oh no, I don't have level 2 switch hook yet. I can do most of Dungeon 7. It's a gash of seed. Never lucky. But yeah, right now I can get a ton of items. Uh, I can get the two items in the grave here. I can get the poke clock item. I can get all the items in dungeon one. That's a ring. At this point, I don't really need any rings. I've got everything that I can care about. What's great is I have 300 rupees, so I can buy the potion. Buying the potion is necessary if you want to get into Dungeon 7. You can also get it from Maple, but for the logic of this, you need to be able to buy it. So I'm interested in how random small keys will work for this dungeon. I don't think it's going to be too much of a difference. Alright. Compass was underground. Okay, we can beat Dungeon 7 now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alright, we got map and compass already.
I still don't have the boss key. And... There's the boss key. And I believe there's still another item. Noble sword is always good. Does that mean there's another item? Or are these keys? I think everything else in here is just a key. I think I need... Or maybe there's an item on Pumpkinhead. I don't know how many uh, keys there are in this dungeon. I wanted to say there were three, but... Maybe there's another one? The cane! Ooh, that is also really good to have. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going... To dungeon 7 right now. Like, all those items just basically were telling me, hey, go to dungeon 7. We have everything that I need in order to complete it. as well as getting everything on the way to it. Except for the library. We can't do library. Dungeon 5 boss is a troll? Not really. He's actually one of the... the best bosses, because everything is completely scripted. I'm basically on the hunt for the Power Glove and then Dungeon 4, 5, 6, and 8 keys. Everything else I have. And then we're in go mode from there. So we're just looking for, for keys and that Power Glove. more ember seeds are there. So I, I healed King Zora with the potion. That's going to open up the next part of the sequence, which will allow us to get another an item from him, as well as we'll be able to get permission from him once we clean the seas using the fairy powder.
There's our island chart. Uh, completely useless at this point. The, the island chart and rope combine together to allow you to use the raft. Which is only useful if you have no other way of getting to the island. But we got mermaid suit pretty early, so we didn't have to worry about that. He gave us an eyeball. So that's one item off our list. Unfortunately, that's not a dungeon I particularly want to go into yet, because I don't have the dungeon item for it. Yeah, it is an, a dungeon that I will eventually need to go into. However, it is the worst dungeon to have to dip because it takes forever to get there. And going back there is just awful. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go straight into Dungeon Seven. You may now go see Jabu Jabu. So Dungeon 7 with random keys is something that I'm a little scared of, but at the same time I think it'll actually be fine. Last time when we did random keys, it ended up being that like we had to go through the hallway, but we had like so many keys that it wasn't a big deal. So since we're gonna have to full clear, pretty much, I'm gonna use the standard All Essences route as much as I can. Uh, we're looking pretty good on keys right now, so that should be possible. Ooh, an early compass is also pretty good. What I'm going to do, I'm going to save before I go up this way, just in case the bottom floor is nothing. There's actually a, like a high percentage chance that the bottom floor has something, now that uh, the small keys are randomized. But just in case. Level 8 has the Book of Seals. Early Compass is good because now I know where keys are. Because there's a, a little chime every time you enter a room with a key. And it's especially good because now I know, like, I can figure out where the boss key is, potentially. Sea of No Return has a heart container. All right, there's a key here. It's a regular key, okay. There's a key here. It's a regular key. No key, this is not a key. I repeat, this is not a key. But realistically, like, this is still a good play. 
A very good play. We're going to Dungeon 8 next. So knowing that Sea of No Return has a heart container, that's actually a good thing to know. It's because that's the one chest leading up to Dungeon 8. So knowing that that has a heart container... ...is gonna be huge. Uh... Do I wanna raise the... I think I wanna raise the water level all the way up. I don't think there's a reason why I wouldn't. That's a key as well. Do I want to use use a key to get a key? Yeah. I don't know if that's the boss key though. Mm. That could potentially be the boss key. Okay, that's fine. So we raise this all the way up, we can get another key, or another chest, get the mini boss stuff. Oh, we can do a lot of stuff here. This is actually a really cool route that I just came up with. <laughs> Basically I can now get everything except for that last chest behind the hallway. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be swimming, but we can get all this stuff. Oh, and this is Lag City. <laughs> Alright, there's our Lava Juice. We did get that hint that Lava Juice was here. Alright, that's a key. I'm gonna go up here real quick. Just so I can get this, uh, stuff here. Oh yeah, I need... Need that on A. Level 6 is rupees. So we're going to try and save scum this here. Yeah, that's nothing. At this point, Ricky's gloves are absolutely useless. Uh, we're still on the hunt for the boss key. Which at this point is going to be one of these two chests over on this side like one of the, these two keys or it's gonna be the vanilla wait did I even check I don't think I checked vanilla <laughs> when I uh, went up there all 
Alright, that's a key. Regular, okay. Let's see what kind of key we got here. Or if it's a key. It's not a key. So it's vanilla boss key. So we full cleared this dungeon. And luckily we also found a couple heart containers. That's going to help us going to dungeon 8 right after this. Yeah, this was actually a, like a relatively decent jabu in terms of like being able to clear it. Our keys came at like pretty opportune times. There it is. Vanilla boss key. So all we have to do is beat the boss, and we can move on. Now this guy, this guy's a jerk. That's a ring. That's... I only grabbed it because I was right there. At this point, I really don't need any rings. I should probably equip... I should probably equip green ring at some point. Ooh, I can get Zora reward and the, the cave right out here. You know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna equip it now. Green ring increases your damage output and increases your defense. It's basically a red ring and blue ring combined together, but also like with less effect. Um yeah, we're we're gonna go. Where are my Pegasus Seeds at? No, they're... they're... Well, first of all, let me get... Uh... Let me get some uh, Ember Seeds, because we're going to need them. Then we'll go and get some Pegasus Seeds, and we're going to head over to Dungeon 8. Yeah, it, it is definitely better than just outright defense. It, it is a little bit of a trade-off, uh, because you're, you're losing a little bit of offense by equipping it over the red ring. But the, the defense usually helps outweigh that.
So, like, like I said earlier, it's a good thing I know that there's a heart container over here. Because I can just heal up halfway through this uh, maze over here. Especially if I'm just going to keep getting taking hits from these guys. So this is a heart container. We knew that for sure because it's the only check in the Sea of No Return. And that was one of our hints. Zora Village holds an island chart. Guys, we can finally go rafting. We know where the island chart is. So Dungeon 8 is normally, like, a really bad dungeon to do, but when you have to full clear it, it's not that bad, simply because you're gonna have to get every item pretty much anyway. Uh, the, the whole um, Toke Thief thing is disabled. It's, it's not a thing in Randomizer. So no matter how you get to uh, Crescent Island, you can just normally explore it. Alright, there's our Book of Seals. Which isn't really anything special right now. Uh, we need the library key in order to make that a thing. But yeah, it could definitely lead to something later on. But right now... It's time for us to collect some slates. So, Dungeon 8 is a little bit special in that, including the boss key, like aside from the boss key, there are four slates. And these slates are uh, essentially boss keys. So basically there's five boss keys in Dungeon 8, and in order to actually complete the dungeon you need to find all five of them. Luckily the dungeon itself is fairly linear for the most part, so we're going to be going through and getting all these checks anyway. But the, the end is where the the slates end up really coming into play because at the end there's like a couple different things that you can do you can either like if you have everything you can go straight to the boss but if you're still looking for stuff you've got like four trials essentially Alright, we got two slates so far, 
So that's two of our five boss keys. And we're already coming up to the the bottom floor. Like this this next floor is where everything really happens. This is where we got the mini boss and you got the four trials. So this guy, he's basically Aghanim. He'll, he'll either shoot a regular shot at you or he'll shoot like a blue ball. He can be kind of a jerk, but um, for the most part it's not too bad because his pattern is consistent. But once, once you turn him into a bat, that's when things start getting a little weird because he can just fly in any direction that he wants. Alright, that's three. Okay, we have all four slates. Uh, but we are still missing our boss key. And we're also still missing some key items, so we're going to actually full clear this dungeon. It's a little unfortunate, but... I, I had a feeling we were just going to have to full clear anyway. Just because of how early we're going here. Cool little tech here is I, I can just use this as a refill room and get a bunch of Pegasus Seeds back. It's very useful since, you know, this isn't going to actually be my last dungeon. I'll have to go and do more stuff after this. So being able to just, uh... <laughs> fill back up on Pegasus Seeds so I can continue on is really nice. Calling it Vanilla Boss Key. Okay. I'm gonna say... It's the Underwater Room. Because Underwater Room is a jerk. Oh, it was Vanilla! <laughs> you were right. It was Vanilla. I'm still mi missing the map. So I'm missing a map, and then... Are there any keys left? I don't think there's any keys. So I think it's just a map and two items. Yeah, it's probably going to be map on on the boss, which means we're going to have to check everything, or, you know, we're just going to check everything anyway. Crown key, okay. So that's another dungeon we can do after this. Keep the dungeon train rolling.
So yeah, this is going to be our last item check in here. Why are you giving me things that I got, like, hours ago? That's the one thing I don't like about the hints, is you'll end up getting stuff that you've gotten, like, an hour, hour ago, or, like, you got, like, at the beginning of the game. It's like, dude, that's not helpful at all. Alright, so map is going to be on boss. You're two for two today. <laughs> In this dungeon. You, j you just, you just roll, roll in it. You're just killing it today. So after this, we're going to do Dungeon 5. And then from there, who knows? We got to figure out exactly where we can go after that. We'll probably start hitting some overworld checks after that. Oh, that's not good. When, when are you talking about? So I'm not sure what you were, what you were referring to. Yeah, map confirmed. After I threw the first bomb. I don't think so. I don't think Link disappeared. Alright, so we'll go to Dungeon 5 now. We've got a few things that we can do here uh, before we actually head into the dungeon. We can do the Moblin Keep, and then we'll do the dungeon itself. And this just kind of flows together nicely because they're right outside each other. At this point, if I find both of these keys, we're in complete go mode. And we can just find the boss key and get to the end of the, the dungeons. <laughs> of course, Dungeon 6 is a very special dungeon. And that's because the boss key can be either in the pre past or the present. Yes, I, I need Toonie Nut and I need the Mermaid Key. Those are the two items that I am missing at this point.
once I find those two items, then we're in go mode. Tuning out is, is, is just essentially a key, that's what I generally refer to it as. So before I go across here... Unfortunately, Dungeon 5 only has one owl statue, and it's all the way in the back of the dungeon. So unless we have to full clear Dungeon 5, I don't see us actually getting the owl statue. Yo, Kirby Master with the big host. Thanks very much, my dude. Hope your stream went well. Alright, two vanilla keys so far. So, anyone tuning in that doesn't know... Oracle of Ages Randomizer. Uh, we are playing on version 3.5.1, which just introduced random small keys in dungeons. Uh, it, that was introduced in 3.5, which just came out this week. All right, we, we're going for it. You, you gotta go for it. Whenever, whenever you get boss key right there, you gotta go for it. So random small keys in dungeons can really mess with your routing. And can really make things interesting. But, uh, it's normally an uh, item randomizer. But then, of course, uh, we, we just got random small keys. So, it's getting, it takes a little getting used to, but I'm sure I'll be able to do it just fine, for the most part. We've had a, a pretty interesting, interesting seed so far, in terms of, like, things we can do. It's, it's been a lot of uh, dungeon diving, and just going from dungeon to dungeon. I'm gonna have to dip back into dungeon 5, uh, because I'm still missing two more items before I can go into go mode. I'm still missing the tunina and the mermaid key. Once we have those two items, those are our last two dungeons, and we can just go ahead and complete them. So I'm gonna save here. Uh, just because if I don't find anything of use in these two checks over here, I can actually then uh, save, save and quit, and ooh, I'll keep that probably. But what I was saying is I could then save and quit, and I would be able to keep the key. Ooh, 
Tuni nut behind Book of Seals. That would mean we would need the library key as well. <laughs> Speaking of... <laughs> Speaking of the library key, we are definitely holding on to that at this point. So I've got a few things that I'm going to be doing before I get out of this dungeon. I want to... I'm probably going to full clear. Just because... I'm still missing those two items. So there's one more key hallway, and then we take our way down to the bo mini boss and the, fi the final stretch. Yeah, beating Dragon would be nice. Um, I'm sure he probably made some good plays. He, he tends to make good plays. But it's going to come down to basically whoever finds these keys. Whoever does the, the correct checks. Like, I, I feel like I've been playing well so far, it's just... We, uh, need to find those last couple of items. Yeah, this is a race. This is the weekly race. Uh, we, we tend to race once a week, every Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we try to, at least. We try to do it weekly. Uh, sometimes life gets in the way and people are unable to race. Usually it ends up just being me and Dragon, but um, sometimes we get a few other people. Alright, that is every key. So that means... Ooh. I wonder if I even need to go this way. I think I might actually be... good. Um... There's two more items. It should be a map and compass. Yeah. There's no other keys. Last two checks should be map and compass. So we're actually done here. So now it's overworld time. Um... Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea. We're gonna do lava juice. while I'm over here. Baba Juice is just like a really quick check while I'm up in this area.
would help if I actually appear on the right spot, but whatever. After this, I might do Mayor's House. Yeah, I'm gonna do Mayor's House, Library. And then we can start hitting up a, a bunch of stuff in the sea. Yeah, randomizer for the uh, the Game Boy games is, is a lot of fun. And yeah, the the strat using the Pegasus seeds there for the mini boss in Dungeon Five is super good. Alright, we got two checks in the library, one in the past, one in the present. Hopefully... That's just a heart container. Okay, so we don't need to do that one. This one is a gash seed, so we don't need to do that one. So now there's three items that I can get in the seas over here. Uh, there's the pirate ship, the cave, and then the back and forth one over here. I'm gonna do the back and one, back and forth one last. Gave me a shield. This is this is what happens like at the end of randos is you just end up having to go through all of the overworld checks looking for that one item that'll progress you. Like we were doing so well all the way up until now, and now it's just the hunt for these items. Okay, there's Mermaid Key. That's actually really good. Because that gives us access to Dungeon 6. Unfortunately, I can't Gale Seed over there while I'm in the water. So I have to be on land, go to the... go somewhere. I'm gonna fill up on Pegasus seeds first. And then we're gonna head over there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could have tree warped. I I realized that after I already started doing stuff. I was like, oh yeah, I could do that. I've been playing way too much vanilla lately. So Dungeon Six. handful of things that we need to worry about here. Number one is we need to be in the past first in order to actually do anything of value in the present. Hopefully we don't even have to go in the present. But in order to do stuff of value in the present, you have to be you have to do some stuff in the past. Oh wait, I need to do that first. And that's because you you can only bomb open these these bomb walls in the past. And there's also a moving wall that we're going to be uh, activating that you can also only do in the past. And that changes the layout in the future. So regardless of what ends up happening in terms of the boss key, you want to come here first. Also, shoutouts to Bad Hints. Yeah, we do, ha we do still have a couple overworld checks. Um, the biggest ones are Ambi's Palace. Uh, we still have two checks in Ambi's Palace to do. Which, if... Dungeon 6 ends up being a bust, that's probably where I'm going to head. So there is one more check that I can do up this way. Um, I want to do it because it gives us access to this area in the present, just in case the boss key ends up being there. Actually, I'm going to grab that bomb. Because we're going to need bombs. We always need bombs. Oh, actually, there's two checks here. I forgot that this is also a thing. So this could potentially... No, this has to be a key. This has to be a key. 
so this can't be the boss key. I was thinking, like, could this potentially be the boss key? But no, it has to be a key. Because there's no other keys remaining in this dungeon. So this uh, puzzle, it gets uh, cheesed a little bit by having the level 2 switch hook. Normally at this point you only have the level 1. And at that point I know there is nothing left for me to do in there. So we're going to come back out and we're going to head into the present part of the dungeon. Hopefully we'll find what we're looking for. Well, we will find a boss key. But hopefully we'll also find... the tuning nut. Getting both items would mean that we can just complete Dungeon 4 and not have to worry about anything. So the big thing here is that I don't want to have to do the mini-boss. If I have to do the mini-boss, that means I'm playing through this entire section. Oh wait, I screwed that up. What am I doing? I completely screwed that up. <laughs> I haven't done that puzzle in a while. So depending on what I get here, is the tuning nut okay? That means that's required, which means we got to figure out where this boss key is. There's only a couple more spots this boss key can be. And this is one of the worst ones, because if you've seen the, uh, the speed run, you know that this is RNG. This is completely RNG. After the first pull, it's a 1 in 4 chance of actually getting the chest every single pull. So it's a pretty awful room. It could take quite a few tries. There we go. 
It's Vanilla Boss Key. Okay, so we can get out of here. We now have everything that we need to go ahead and just zoom to the end. So we just got to go finish this dungeon. We'll finish this dungeon, then we'll go do dungeon 4, and then we can finish this game up. Can I look up uh, the letter of introduction and Ricky's gloves? We got Ricky's gloves. Uh, it was somewhere not useful, so I save scummed it. Um, letter of introduction is going to be on the Goron Elder, because there's no other place for it can be, that can, it can be. Which, there's the uh, bomb flower right there. So the fastest way to actually get to Dungeon 4 is not by going to Symmetry City or anything. No, it's going back to the main town. And... <laughs> of course! I didn't even go this way. <laughs> I didn't even go that way. And then Yui can use the Tune of Ages to warp right to the end of Talus Peaks. Oh no, I don't need to go down there. And Dragon just finished. Yeah, that that was uh, kind of expected. He tends to find things super fast. Plus, I'm, I'm sure he's had more experience with uh, randomized small keys than I have. I've only done one randomized small key run before. Whereas, he's probably done plenty at this point. That's mostly just because I haven't had a chance to play any of them since I've been doing the spotlight all week. But yeah, being, being one go mode dungeon away is not horrible. Dragon, he's just a, a monster. He 
He dominates every weekly race. In both seasons and ages. So I don't know how many keys I need for this. As long as... Like, I know as long as I get the boss key, I'm pretty good. But I don't know how many small keys I actually need in order to get to the boss. I know I need, like, a handful of the small keys. I just don't know how many. I guess we'll find out. We're up to two small keys right now. Use one there. Use one there, so that's two. I think you need three small keys. I think that's actually maybe four. Might be four actually. Because it's the one coming up in this next room. Uh, and then I think there's one more that you have to use before the boss. Yeah, whatever the case is, I think I'm might be maxed out on, on keys now. Either that or there's one more. Hey, it's a heart container. So we've found all the heart containers. But we still haven't found our boss key. We may have to go all the way to deep four to get this boss key.
I really hope it's not Vanilla Boss Key. That would suck. But like, there's been so many Vanilla Boss Keys in this run already. What is going on? <laughs> this guy's being weird. Alright, so I have all the all the small keys for sure at this point. Which means we have two more opportunities to get this boss key. It's either going to be the floor puzzle, or it's going to be the vanilla spot. And uh, we don't want it to be vanilla, because that's so far out of our way. So right now I'm hoping that this is the boss key. Uh, they hit me out of my pattern, dude. Oh, okay, we're good. It's the compass. <laughs> I screwed that up at the end so hard, but we uh, were able to fix that because I have the can of Samaria. Dude, I really hate keys. Keys are so annoying. So if anyone's keeping score at home, this will mark, I believe, the third vanilla boss key in this randomizer run. Between this, Dungeon 6, and Dungeon 8. There's that jingle. And there it is! There's our boss key.
All right, that's Dungeon Four. All we have, all we have left is to go beat the Black Tower. But first, we have to get the Maku Seed. At this point, I'm basically like... I don't know less than five minutes away from finishing. Like it goes it goes fairly quick once you get here. Nah, he's just dancing. We're not going to be able to get him to come talk to us. Alright, so we're at the top of the Black Tower. All that's left is for us just to beat Varen. We got three phases. First phase is fairly simple. It's the same teleporting phase as uh, Nehru. Just have to hope you don't get a lot of teleports. And then phase two is where she starts uh, actually doing some attacks against you. But still, for the most part, she's not too crazy.
now we're on to phase three, which is the same phase that you fight in any percent, which is where she's the beetle, she starts jumping around, and then after some time she transforms into either a bee or a spider, and then transforms back to the beetle. Hopefully, we don't get trolled too badly. Alright, that is time. So we still completed this in under two and a half hours, which is probably a, my estimate as an okay time. Like generally a lot of uh, randomizer seeds end up being about two and a half hours. Once you like know the game. For Dragon, it he's just so much in like a completely different league that he, he ends up winning everything anyway. I usually just play just to play. Because I, I enjoy the game. I don't really expect to win. There, there have been uh, weeklies where I have beaten Dragon. But it's, it's pretty rare. But yeah, uh, right now, I'm going to let the credits play out, and then I'm going to be cutting stream and going to dinner. After I get back from dinner is going to be the Oracle's Link speedrun. So if you guys want to get your support in for one of the animals, now is your last chance to do it while the credits are rolling. Because uh, once I come back, we're, we're locking that in. So, basically, if, if you don't know what's going on, I'm allowing you guys to select one of the animal companions that I'm going to be using for the speedrun tonight. Right now, Dimitri is in the lead with $10, Ricky's in second with 5 and Moosh is in last with $1. Yeah, the, the linked run is still tentatively around 9.30ish. Depends on what time I actually get back from dinner, uh, but I think around 9.30 is probably when I'm going to start. Might be a little earlier, might be a little later. I can't say until I, I actually go out to dinner. But if you, if you want to support uh, one of the three Animal Companion choices for the Link speedrun, uh, any donations, cheer, or subscriptions can be placed towards them. Uh, if you haven't heard, um, Twitch is actually doing something right now in terms of cheer. Um, where if you use the Bleeding Heart cheer mode, uh, I think 10%. Like, there's, you get an extra 10% added on to whatever you cheer. So, like, you cheer 100, that'll, that'll, they'll automatically give the streamer another 10, uh, bits. I'm not sure if that's a, a limited thing or, or what's going on, but right now that's going on. So, if you, if you... I'm not saying you have to do anything, but if you want to cheer towards one of the, the animal companions, you can get a little bit extra for your, for your money. And I'm, I'm going to cu cut that off as soon as I cut stream right now. Um, that way I can start preparing for which route I'm going to be doing. 
because the, the route is different depending on which animal companion I use. So I'm gonna have to like look things up and uh, figure out what I need to do.